when it comes to some of the most greatest high school dunkers that have turned heads at every single level there's this certain athletic individual who can very well go down as the greatest high school dunker ever and from an entertainment aspect he's took over every single gym that he's played at but has always had someone relatively close to him that has helped him along the way but despite his amazing come up he really has been slept on by a lot of people but he's never fell short of proving his doubters wrong this is the trey parker story born and raised in fayetteville north carolina trey parker's first encounters with the basketball was when he would go outside by himself and use the milk carton as a goal which was tied up to a tree and each and every day he just gravitated more and more towards the sport now it also was a great outlet for him as because around him just wasn't the most positive environment and because of that a lot of kids just didn't make it out and went down the wrong path and he even stated it was either one way sports or in jail but he just had a strong supportive cast of his family that has been there for him every single step of the way now someone who he really looked up to was his older brother quay who rose to stardom and was a complete high school basketball icon from his crazy athletic abilities but it became very clear at just the seventh grade that trey was also gifted with the athletic genes because while all of his other teammates were just hitting casual layups trey was already dunking but he was doing it on the regular and as a freshman while at Cape Fear High School, located in Fayetteville, North Carolina, he was already 6'1 and could score at all three levels. He showed a lot of glimpses of what he had in store in the future. Of course, from his athleticism, but a trait that he's always had was that not only was he effective on the offensive side of the basketball, he was a player who really took pride on the defensive side of the ball and really locked in from that aspect which allowed him to accomplish getting three steals per game. That season, he put up 16 points, seven rebounds, and five assists per contest. Now, he even scored 22 points to lead his team to their first state playoff win in 15 years. That summer, his athletic abilities just kept separating himself from everyone else. He could practically knock it down from anywhere on the court and he just kept staying hungry on defense but despite turning heads at every single tournament he played at he was still highly underrated but now heading into his sophomore season he made the decision to switch schools and decided to spend that season at new life christian academy also in fayetteville north carolina every trait in his game just kept getting better and he would slowly start to become a household name his bounce got even crazier and his hang time seemed it forever and it was just a matter of time before the basketball community would really start to notice on how crazy of an athlete he was his shot mechanics continued to improve and he showed where he could knock down the three from deep and he didn't need the ball to be effective he winded up averaging 20 points grabbing five rebounds and dished out two assists per contest but for his junior season he made the transfer into the vertical academy in charlotte north carolina to team up with mikey williams they were hands down one of the best duos in all of high school basketball that season every play between the two was just a highlight reel he had some big performances like when he showed out at the target center arena in front of some nba pros parker went off for 32 points six rebounds four assists but also pitched in six steals from the crazy acrobatic layups he was doing to his limitless comfortability he showed from three nobody on defense had a single answer for him but he went on to be named co-mvp of the junior showcase at the underclassmen all-american game after scoring 42 points and hitting 10 threes he just kept developing and kept getting better each and every game and by that summer he practically put everything together his play style even matured against the top competition that summer he held his own and truthfully just looked better than a lot of the players ranked ahead of him you could kind of sense that he was putting more focus into winning basketball versus doing things for crowds and media outlets but despite the strides he made that summer the four-star recruit was only the 78th overall ranked prospect in the class of 2023 trey parker decided to spend his last year of high school playing for overtime elite in atlanta georgia 
in the regular season while suiting up for the City Reapers. He averaged 12 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. But in the playoffs, he's been averaging 24 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists to go along with 3 steals a game. And with him maintaining offers from schools like Kansas State, North Carolina State, North Carolina A&T, and Mississippi State, he made the decision to stay home and has signed a letter of intent to play basketball at North Carolina State. Now every OTE player is offered a six figure salary with a guaranteed minimum salary of 100K per year. But he did waive the 100K salary to maintain his college eligibility. Trey Parker is one of the most talented and entertaining players in all of high school basketball. He's made big strides every season and from his love and passion for the game alone, it has always impacted his teams in a positive way. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Trey Parker story.